Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, I've had a question come up on my Linux Mint Debian Edition video that I felt uh, might be good to address, and that is what is your difference between running Linux Mint Debian Edition and Debian running Cinnamon? And so I looked over and there's a few little minor differences like uh, Linux Mint Debian Edition has two different installers compared to Debian's one. Uh, one of those being Calamaris, the other one is, I think it's whatever is uh, pre-built into Debian and I don't remember the name of that installer. Um, and another minor one is they do have a different login window. Those are very minor. Uh, so I didn't really want to spend any any other regular time on that. And then I looked around to see, could I find five major differences? And I really couldn't. I was able to find three. So we're going to look at the top three differences between Linux Mint Debian Edition and just running Debian with Cinnamon. And even one of those isn't really a difference between those two, but just a little bit of discussion on the desktop environments. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump on in. So number one, we're going to have a look at the desktop environments. This gets us a little bit above and beyond the, the scope of the question, which is what is better, Debian with Cinnamon or Linux Mint Debian Edition? I'm going to start here because one of your core differences between these distros moves beyond the desktop environment, and that is if I'd like to download Debian, I have a large variety of installations methods, which includes a variety of different desktop environments. So of course, um, I can get a basic installer, which will allow me to install any desktop environment, or if I want to, if I know for sure I want to use one specific one, then I can go ahead and uh, grab either the Cinnamon or the Gnome or the KDE or the LXDE or the Mate or the XFCE. So uh, if you're doing the basic Debian, you can choose to have a variety of different desktop environments, whereas Linux Mint Debian Edition has only one option, and that is the Cinnamon desktop environment. So, of course, this gets a little bit beyond the scope of the question, but I wanted to start there because if you're asking yourself that question, then the first thing you need to realize is that if you may want to experiment with other desktop environments, Debian is the easier way to go. Now, can you put other desktops on top of this? Yes, you can, but it's not officially supported. It's not uh, something you can officially do. So I wanted to go ahead and start there. Number two is going to be what sources are available on install. When you are using Debian, by nature, Debian itself is going to include only the uh, free repos, but Linux Mint Debian Edition does install the non-free as well. So of course you can easily change this in Debian navigating to Etsy apt sources dot list. And then what we're going to do is look at the file that is in there. In fact, let me just go ahead and list this. You can see the official package repositories list. So let's just uh, go ahead and have a look at this file. So what you see here is that we have the Linux Mint Cindy main, and then we have from Debian, we have our two Debian, and you can see that we are based on stretch. And then you can see here where it says contrib and non-free after this. This was not added by me out of the box. This does include the contributor and the non-free uh, repos in addition to the main ones, which you will get on, uh, on regular Debian. Now, what that means is that out-of-the-box experience is going to be a little bit better because the non-free and the contributor repositories is what you need to install in order to use, for example, your AMD graphics drivers and things like that, which means out-of-the-box, we're not going to have exclusively open-source software like you get in Debian, but you will have an experience where you will have a operating system that works better without you having to tinker under the hood. The number three difference is going to be some Linux Mint specific packages. 
Uh, everything from the Linux Mint Updater, which is a very good update manager, uh, allowing you to control your kernels and various package updates, to a lot of the various Linux Mint based software. The one I use the most is the USB image writers and stick formatters. These are all Linux Mint specific software packages that uh, do not come with Debian with Cinnamon installed. So whether or not you need those individual things, of course, uh, Debian is going to have Synaptic Package Manager by default. Um, and of course, we have that the same here where you can manage all your different system updates through. Uh, Cinnamon does not specifically come with the update manager uh, as I tested that on my Linux or uh, on my uh, Debian machine running uh, Cinnamon as well. Uh, however, Linux Mint Debian Edition does come with the Linux Mint software that is very specific to that particular operating system, including the software store is another one I did not mention as well. Uh, once again, you need to get that information, you know, all these in installations from um, Synaptic Package Manager and doing your updates there as well. So this does provide a little bit more user friendly functionality. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Switched to Linux. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out the links at the top. There is another video over here. You can check out our Patreon page down here. And you can check out shop.switchtolinux.com for information on a t-shirt like this or some other designs. Thanks for watching and hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.